Welcome YouTubers, the whole internet cyberspace world. All of you. All of it. All of you. Welcome to Get Uncomfortable with Stacy, A Cross, and Joey. Joey Boy. Joey Mac. Joey Mac. He always wanted to throw that in there. This, this show is sponsored by Maker's Mark. They don't know it. They don't know it, but they sponsored the event. <laughs> Thank you for the two shots that I paid for. Mm, for everybody. You yeah, it was a great sponsor. <laughs> You're a great sponsor. <laughs> Joe, listen, man, I love you. Uh, I've been knowing you for two months now, but the world, we're going to introduce ourselves, reintroduce ourselves to the world. Tell them a little bit about you. What yeah. got you started here? That's the plan. We're going to change the world. We're going to change the real estate industry, the mortgage industry. Yep. Anybody who wants to better their lives, we're going to change it on this podcast. A mm -hmm. um, little bit about me. Um, I own a Remax, uh, Remax Experts down in Manioc. Um, Homefront Mortgage, also out of Manioc. We're yep. going national with Homefront Mortgage, right. super local with Remax. We have a title company local, Keystone State Abstract. Um, and uh, can't even imagine what kind of ancillary services are coming out next. So we're always moving and shaking. Yeah. Um, also an Army guy, officially out of the Army last night. Woo, let's get ah, it. Last it. night. Last night, midnight. No so, longer government issued. All right, so then tell me, what's this whole Army thing like? How, when did you get started in that? So I got started in the Army. I went to Penn State for two years. Hoorah, right? Got Hoorah. Out of there. Where are you at, man? That's, no, that's Marines. Hoorah. Hoorah. Hoorah's mm -hmm. Marines, yeah. Ah, yeah don't we, use we like Marines. Don't, yeah. Hey, hey don't be using their stuff. Uh, Grunt life. We like some Marines. Okay. So two years in the Army at our uh, ROTC at Penn State. Okay. Then enlisted. Finished my last year at Cabrini. I accelerated that because right. I got sick of school. Right. And then I was like, fuck it, I'm going into real estate. Real estate, what year? What age? Well, how old are you Four, now? 2014 ish. Well, right how old now. are you now? 26. 26 owner, entrepreneur, killer mindset. It's no, you said earlier, do you know what law of attraction is? You said it to our ah, producer here. Law of attraction is insane. You know, I the reason I. The reason I joined the Army, the reason I started accelerating myself through school was because I realized, sorry to all you people with advanced degrees, school is bullshit uh -huh. for certain people. It's mm -hmm. bullshit for me. I wish I would have went into real estate when I was fucking 15. Me too. Me too. But I didn't. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. I wish I could. And uh, so I realized that I was only going to get what I started to attract towards me. And honestly, if I didn't start taking action, I was going to have nothing. Well, listen, law of attraction got me with you, right? Yeah. So when we met, first time, funny story, I am Stacey Cross. there's no we in it. You know, founder of the Comfort Killers wrote a book on the whole mindset of being a comfort killer, getting out of your comfort zone mindset, all of that crushing your day to day, right? Yeah. And Law of Attraction pulled me into him, and I just got my real estate license what um, seven months ago, yeah, and I was kind of yeah. bouncing. I was bouncing around, quit the job, jumped off the Benjamin Franklin Bridge. Most people won't do it. I did. Gotta okay, got to do it. Um, got out of the employee mindset, moved into the entrepreneurial mindset, like for real, 100%. So I walk in. First time meeting you, and guess First what? First time meeting. He, look, look at him. We had everything in common. 10X family. I'm like, yeah, I got a show on Grant Cardone TV. You can check that out, grantcardonetv.com slash comfort killers. But yeah. then he shows me a sock, and you got another. I have, I have different socks on today. That day I had the 10X socks on. Today I got. I'm looking at this who's guy. Who's got my money? I'm looking at him like, are you fucking kidding me right now? You know what That's I mean? This guy's What are the chances? Ex. What are the chances? And it's literally like a stone's throw away from where I live. Because I ask so, people all the time when yeah. I interview them. Yeah. Do you know who Grant Cardone is? And they say. Uh, a lot of times I don't know who he and is. You don't, and you don't. Or they say him. yes, and then I, you know, I know they're lying. But yeah. Grant Cardone, we love him. Love to have him on the show Yeah, he, he'll be on the show. Hint, hint. Yeah, we'll, we'll make it happen. So this podcast is all about getting uncomfortable and taking action. I think the biggest word is action. Action's the word. You know, who's, and who is it for? You know, we, want, we said that we wanted to do something different with this podcast and video stream as you're seeing, but who's this for? Who are you? Would you like this? Would you be involved in this if you're, what do you think, realtors? You know what? If you're a realtor, if you're a loan officer... Um, really, if you're anybody, if you're in the military, if you're anybody, dude, if you're anybody, you're going to love this show. <laughs> if you want more from life, you're going to love the show right. because at the end of the day, we could do 8 million episodes, right? The moral of the story is going to be action. And the truth is every guest we bring on, everyone we interview, start watching other podcasts. It's all going to dumb down to one freaking thing. They did something while you sat on your ass. I got a story in here. We're going to talk about that 10 year old taking action and 40 year olds out here on the couch Ridiculous. drinking Slurpees. Yeah. You know? Talking about their plan. They're going to do this next week, next week. Organize next week, the next desk. Week. 
Wait, you I know, need another New Year's training. resolution. I need another training. I need another coaching. Let me go to another course. <laughs> yeah. Online course. And that's one thing that's different about this and why I really love doing this, Powered by the Comfort Killers, yep. is everybody on their podcast currently, you have to click a lead magnet, go oh, off the podcast, you got the ad, then you go into the click funnels. Shout out to Russell Brunson, Brunson okay? Yep. But you go into the click funnels, you got the three part series, then you got to upsell on the inner yep. circle. We're done with that, man. No, we don't do that. We don't do that. You're. You got you acquired a hundred properties. In, uh, yeah. We acquired, big boy. We got. Yeah. yeah. Money's money, money's, money calling money's calling all the time. Calling. Money's calling. Money's calling. Yep. So so I, I realized at some point you know um, I had gone to I had this idea that I was going to buy all these properties. I didn't know how. I was making it really complicated. My first deal was ninety one units was my first listing. Okay. So I started to get some ideas there. But I didn't have the validation. No one told me, hey, you can fucking do anything you want right. because, you know, I, I don't have a cool story. I grew up middle class, <laughs> cop and a teacher. So this is not, I have no You're, cool story. Are you, are you above I wasn't middle living, class? I wasn't living in a box somewhere. Damn. And, you know, so you don't fit the old entrepreneurial model, no, no. man. Listen, I don't have a bullshit story for you yeah. like some people yeah, do. Yeah. Okay? But I took action when no one else did. I did what other people said I couldn't do. And uh, with the help of Uncle G, yeah. um, I went into his ambassador program, right. and it was all about goal setting and 10x. And if you ever come to Remax or Homefront, it's all we fucking preach. But that is so important because I literally went out there and I started submitting letters of intent. Right. I mean, over the course of two years, I, I would say 150 mm. plus letters of intent getting rejected over and over and over again. Saying no, everybody's but saying no. Everyone's saying no, and I'm like, okay, it's just an email, so right. I'll send another one. Yeah. And I just kept sending it, and finally these guys called me back, and uh, this is at least an hour and a half podcast in the future about how to buy a portfolio of real estate with no oh, money gonna, out of pocket. We're gonna get that. And we're gonna get there, we're gonna show you how to do it. And I teach all the agents that, I teach loan officers, this is free info, it's never gonna cost anybody yeah. anything. Yeah. Um, and I hope you do it. Problem is, and the whole point of this podcast, 80, 90, 99% of you won't. 99. Free info. This is how you do it. Yes, it's going to suck. Right. Well, you're you know how many you know how many people that I get an email from and they're like, do you think I should go in this course? Do you think I should get this book? What are you doing? And I'm like, bro, just do it. Just do it. I was uh, watching an Arnold Schwarzenegger documentary and it just came out on the Stacey Cross podcast show. But I was watching an Arnold Schwarzenegger and he wanted yeah. to talk. He talked about how do you get bigger, right? Incredible individual. Yeah, freaking awesome, yeah. right? So he wants, how do you get bigger? You got the deltoids, you got the pecs, you got whatever. Yeah. And you get stuck. Like you're, you're at this point where you get stuck. And he yeah. said, man, you got to shock the hell out Just of your muscle. Go, again. go heavier. Go heavier, but up. also change the yep. direction, right? So if you're if you're pulling in 350, right, up to 350, you start at 170, then you're at 200, then you're at 300. Yeah, yeah. He said start at 350 and go backwards, you dummy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's all about doing, but it's all about changing the trajectory, man. Well, it's like Jocko Willink. We're throwing around a lot of big names in, in podcast one, but I think you're all getting the point about who we like, who we follow, and, and who our mentors are. Jocko Willink uh, was at Navy SEAL, yeah. commander of the team that took out Osama bin Laden. So yeah. Kind yeah. of like him. You love him. Uh, I love him. He, and, puts, he uh, puts up a picture every morning oh, on Twitter. Oh, I'm going to his watch. Wait, I'm going to his watch. <laughs> So, so someone asked him, how do you get up? How do you get up every morning at 4.30 or 430. whatever it is? And he goes, I just get up. What if you don't want to? I get up anyway. It's well, that, what if you have cramps, man? And just get up. What if it's, you have a hangover? I get up. So it's easy. I just get up. So then being successful and living a successful life is then simple then. Maybe you should was, I read 10 books about it first? You don't have to read 10. Do you have to organize your entire desk? Maybe I should spend a year planning it. What about the new mentor program that's coming up? You know, maybe I should spend 30 years planning that I'm going to get up at 4.30. Oh, my God. See, this is what we're no talking about. No one's ever done that. This is what we're talking no. about. The night, this is for the Just 1%. The 1%, baby. The 1%. The 1%. We're talking to realtors. We're talking to LOs. We're talking to entrepreneurs. You don't have to be in real estate to get the information here. Mm -hmm. well, what we're about to bring is something that no one has. Because it's from two perspectives. And this guy is a champ. You know, I'm a king. Is that right? You could be the king. king? Yeah. yeah, I could be the king. We'll be so king kings, here's, here's what I, I found when we were taking a shot. Shout out to Makers Mark. Again, we Damn. love Makers. <laughs> um, Smooth. Host, it's in the paper, man. I don't even read the newspaper, but I had to this morning. I was just, I was kind of drunk with the one shot. But Jose <laughs> has designs on celebrity shoes. This is a 10-year-old kid. I don't know if 
You probably can't see it, but it's a 10 year old kid. Don't even do it. Fla is it flashing? Is it flashing or is it solid red? You could, you could speak. Flashing. All right, so then when it stops flashing, press it again. Did it stop flashing yet? All right, as soon as it stops flashing, press it again. That's how we do it here. We got, we're talking to our producers and all of that. All right, so Jose has designs, man. 10 year old kid, what are you doing? 10 year old. 10 year old kid with an intention out there. I can't do it, Stacey. What do you mean? I can't, I don't have a plan, I don't know how to do it, I don't have any money. You don't have, you didn't have any money. Did you have a plan, money? What did you have when you went in for the 90? I say Lost 100. student loan debt. Man, I have. Anyone out here with student loan debt, I want you to share this to other people that you know that has student loan debt. How about that? Yeah, student because loan debt that's crippling you, you can't do anything, you can't make money, you, your parents tell you need a real job, go away. <laughs> you know how many times I told my mom stop talking to me? Just stop. Love it. Mom, you're probably going to end up seeing your mom's this at a some point. Your mom's a teacher. Mom's my mom's a, a teacher, nurse. Dad's a, uh, a cop. cop. Yep. So you get the same message from the middle class. You what, what do you got to do? What do you got to what's the What's the formula for the middle class? Here's the, the formula for the middle class. Invest in your 401k so someone can wait way more than you. Mm -hmm. uh, and you have no idea five. about the 401k. You don't know what stocks, bonds. You don't even know what's on the front page. No, here's, here's the middle class. Wait, I'm going to sum it up. They're comfortable. <laughs> one lawsuit. Boom! One lawsuit, one medical emergency, one car repair, yep. one credit card. You're repair, done. One judgment. You're done. One court case. You're one guy slips and falls. You are done. You're fucked. Yeah, but you you <laughs> have no money. You you are comfortable until you're not. So how do we get how do we get uncomfortable? What's the mindset taking us into 2019 and beyond? And what we're teaching you is the mindset is, needs to be what well, is get the fuck up and do it. Get up do and something. Do it. Why can't you do that? What's stopping you from What's doing stopping? it? What's stopping you? Why can't... Uh, best example. My brother calls me last week. Mm -hmm. I went open it two weeks ago. I went open a nutrition store. Mm -hmm. I met him. I went to the nutrition store. He's so, like, that's him. Well, now I get to see it from the other perspective where everyone says, well, you know, be careful because your family will tell you yeah, yeah. when you're opening a new business, everyone has a piece of advice for you. Yeah, right. So I had to catch myself because my first thing was, oh, you don't want to... You don't want to... Uh, you want to uh, tell them you don't want to do that. Uh, but I caught myself. You're be careful. I caught myself. Yeah. I stopped myself and I said, that's fucking awesome. Yeah. So let's do it. So yeah. how are we going to do it? So we went through this. Man, within a week and a half, I had him. We had his real estate lined up. We had six months free lined Damn, up. Damn, this is going to be a podcast. Had, this is going to be a how podcast. Old he? How old is Matt? Franchise. 22? He's 22? a freaking killer. At 22. My brother's 22. Got his real estate license. Was working at a nutrition store. Was going to do this part time. Raised fifty thousand dollars. He called me this morning. He raised fifty thousand dollars. Well, who? Some guy. Damn. Some guy at the gym. He. You know what he did? He started asking everybody for the money. He didn't have any money. He's got no money. He's got like five hundred dollars. He went and found fifty thousand dollars. Hold on, hold on. This is for another pot. Do you see what's coming to you guys, Shit's ladies and gentlemen? I mean, it's it's not hard. They they make it seem like it's hard. It's flat earthers out here. It's just. I mean. They want to hold you down. <laughs> They want to make sure that you're in the dome, baby. Yeah, make sure um, you're in the dome. Yeah, listen, we're, we're, we're all about doing this the right way, the correct way, and most of the important thing, if I write another book, I'm telling you straight up, there's one word in that book, in the middle of the book. I'm gonna, it's a 300 page book. I mean One, two, three. Action. Action. All right, good. Shit, we got it now. All right, good. Listen, me and Joe are going to take this to the next level. Uh, we want you to be a part of that. If this helps you and you know this show is going to help you, we got this military stud muffin. He's a stud, ain't he? Man, you might get, I might have to get some, I might get some letters in. Like, yo, take that bitch Stacy off and keep Joe on. Yeah, just <laughs> have, have Stacy off count. <laughs> hey, <laughs> oh. chill. Chill, chilly willy. Hey. hey, I know I'm gonna get some uh, messages, but this is gonna be most important is that we're not in for the fluff. This no. is real information that helps real people move from A to freaking Z. It's not about the, the marketing. We don't have any marketing plan for mm -hmm. you. We don't have any secret, secret steps, no. right? We're not the, gonna talk about your business plan for the, six years. The 67 steps, no shot, no, no bad words on Ty Lopez, but 
It's uh, not about that, man. It's just about real information to help you move. Yeah. And we'll get people in here. We got some guests coming up. We got, we got some guests. I was going to say, we got to talk about the guest. I, um, a lot of people, if you're from this region. Philadelphia. Uh, actually, he's going national now. He just did some deals with Brad Lee, mm. actually. Um, but Jay Duran with Culture Matters. Yeah. Uh, we're hoping he's on the next show here. Yep. Uh, he's committed to doing that. And yep. uh, he just released a book. Ooh, actually. What is it called? The book's going to be really cool, I think. Um, the book, we may use that to play into our podcast. Mm. So it's uh, 30 Days of Thought, mm. I believe. And basically, Damn. it's a quote or something to get your mind going. And uh, it's designed for you to then, you know, come up with some ideas and, and use that for your podcast or your social media. I love that. Here, so. Here's what my book is about. Every fucking chapter is about taking action. That's it. Every chapter that you read, I tell you to put down the book and go take action on what you just learned. Do you think they should take action? I love taking action, man. Action got us here this morning. I'm not sure. even drunk anymore. No. I'm sober as hell no. telling you this. Hey, this is Stacey A. Cross. I want to leave you with one thing, one thing that you could do today. Ooh, look at that. Who, how, do, how do we have a producer? I don't know. She's fired. Save. Save. Is it save? Did she say that? You're so nice. He's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. Three, Three deals good. in two seconds. Three, Three, deals, in two seconds. Three. Three deals in two seconds? We got guys coming come in. Here, come here, come here, come here. Three Bring deals Ray in two seconds. Hey, Ray. Bring Ray in. Jump, just, 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 sit, sit. just sit right Ray's here. He's a big guy. Ray's yeah. a big guy. Look at Ray. Ray's Ray. another military guy. We got to put that out there. If you haven't noticed, there's a theme Ooh, here. Uh, theme here, right? Action, military. And just comfort killing stuff. Comfort killing? Hey, so you got three deals in what? Two seconds. All right, so tell us about those deals, man, because we got... Six unit New Jersey, uh, 245000 uh, about 70000 in rehab. We're going to cash out maybe 1500 each unit. We're going to need you on the next... We got to get them on the we show, see, what, the... see how that happens. Mm -hmm. uh, who are you going to help on this show? Who could we help? With, with anybody. Any, anybody who wants to make money in real estate, yeah. passive income, yeah. residual income, Tell me about passive income. I don't like that word. I passive, really don't. I just income, don't like I like, I like. I like just sitting back every month and collecting a check. Do you have to work for it? No. Now box landlord. Come you know, on, man. Landlord. Come now on, man. Landlord. You, get, you, you get gotta the, do some work. Bro. It's all work. <laughs> what do you, you get? You get the uh, property manager to do all the work. Okay. Checks just come right in the mail. True. I love that. We're all right. We're gonna, that. we're gonna get big boy on it. Hey, thank hey. you, Ray. Thank you, Ray. We're gonna get him on the show. Thank you to our producer. We got Marlon in the Marlin, back. Marlon, another loan officer. Hey, she'll listen, be on someday. Yeah, she'll be on. Probably more often than not. You'll hear her voice. She'll be one talk. You gotta take action, man. She it needs starts, to take it action. Starts now. Even our producer. <laughs> not taking action. Yeah, man. And Jay Duran. I take action all day. Don't there she goes. You just gotta come at her a bit. Ooh. But Marlon's gonna be all around the globe with her uh, mortgage business. All around the point. flat earth. You'll all see around. Me. She's a <laughs> flat earther. Right? She's a flat That's earther. why I threw it in there early. We're gonna talk about that too. We're gonna have a whole conspiracy. Oh, we got everything to talk about. Damn. This is gonna be an awesome show. Comfort killers, ladies and gentlemen, military folks, entrepreneurs. Gremlins, anybody. I mean, this is for everybody. 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 Tune in, subscribe. This is the action we need you to do right now. Subscribe, share it out to those that need it. This is a fresh take on everything real estate, everything entrepreneurship, everything mindset. This is a fresh take on it. Just thought of something. What do you think of? If you're initially thinking, I hate Stacy and Joe, then you love it. And this show's doing the perfect thing. You are getting uncomfortable. <laughs> And you realize that you are not taking They curse too much. They na -na 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 -na. They're telling me it's easy. I should just wake up and do something. Yes. Get out of bed, man. Get out of bed. Peace. You're depressed? You're not doing enough. Joe and Stacy. Boom. I am Stacy A. Cross, and there is no E in it. I got two E's in it. Boom. Peace. And we're signing off.